I, uh, all these strange thoughts. Uh, strange in the sense that I, I seem to just drift endlessly with, with thoughts. And, um, and they, when I evaluate them, I wonder, like, what the hell? Like, does that have any meaning or value or anything? Um, and one of those thoughts, and I've been working on articulating it slightly better lately, which is this idea of the machines, machines meaning both simple machines and computers and networks and however we want to think about simple, simple parts coming together uh, to do to do work uh, between other other simple things, simple machines or the environment, which is also made up of machines. But the idea is machines, commonly things outside um, organic life, which is just not a very good distinction, in my opinion. Um, but let's just consider uh, computers as a really obvious example everybody can understand. It. Um, I think about the fact that the majority of our online world, uh, both in terms of... Uh, the content that we're reading, published, written content, uh, the advertising, uh, the social networking, uh, the virtual reality, the online games, the casual games, the MOOCs. Um, most of this stuff is actually uh, made by machines. Uh, sure, there's a human involved in uh, some of it at some point, like maybe putting a comma in here or a period in there, maybe putting a, constructing a sentence or whatever. But the majority of this stuff is put together by a bunch of loosely connected machines. Um, if you consider just a simple web page on any, any news site or Amazon or anything, there's probably a hundred different systems that are being called to render that page so that your eyes can can see it on your computer or through your browser, or through your memory chip, through your monitor or your laptop screen or your phone or whatever. Um, but there's literally hundreds of sim- simpler machines all building up to, to compose this this thing you might be reading or playing or whatever. Um, and each one of those systems has been programmed loosely with the idea of trying to optimize what's going on according to the, the parameters of that system are and totally unaware of all the different ways in which it will be engaged. Um, and so these systems are all optimizing independently and then as they build up their data trails, uh, what they consider signal and what they're paying attention to uh, tends to be much more about all the other systems uh, than the actual humans. Uh, and it's very explicitly, uh, this is true in online stuff, because the majority of activity, literally the stuff that, that you would count as bits flowing through the bandwidth, uh, is being done by bots. It's not humans. Um, it's web crawlers. It's uh, click fraud bots, it's click fraud detection bots, it's uh, semantic uh, web information knowledge creating machines, it's, it's all manner of ways in which um, the machines are trying to get better at being the machines. Um, and it all, it all looks like it's for the, the, for the human uh, observer, the human user, but um, it's probably more likely that us users of all these machines have uh, retrained ourselves to be much more in line with how machines have optimized it and uh, uh, have humans explicitly uh, contemplating humans with each of these things that we do uh, would actually do it. Um, and you can think about this if you want to extend it so that you can test my hypothesis here. Um, the majority of Economic market trading, financial market trading, is done by algorithms that really are just messing with assets that a human will never see. And in fact, most of these assets don't actually exist as physical objects being manipulated by humans, or even ever interpreted or analyzed by humans. It's just trading on trading. Um, I gave you the digital media or the online media example, but most games, uh, the, the what's happening in most like online shooter games and whatnot is that's all it's mostly ai bots running around these games you know occasionally running into humans but most of the data that's being trapped and generated uh, both is being presented on screen but also being logged on the server it's all just bots playing the game um, you can say that about most online videos and whatnot a, a huge amount of the bandwidth is just being chewed up by 
uh, bots that are trying to analyze the content that people are watching and then spitting out. You know, if you've paid attention at all, uh, the amount of machine learning generated YouTube video is pretty staggering. Um, and I could go on and on about every level about how this is really the machines long ago escaped, uh, in a sense, human ends as their, as their quote, objective, if they ever had that objective. Um, yes, humans benefit by these machines, but by and large, you know, systems, you know, with given enough time and enough connectivity to everything else tend to make up their own ecology or find their own ecological niche. Um, and it's usually much weirder and more varied uh, than we can imagine. And you can, you can look at analogs in nature, um, which I consider machines to just be part of this whole mix of evolution in nature anyway. Um, but it's something worth considering that when, when we go trying to figure out the world and how we're all going to be in it uh, with all these machines that have come out of, of the evolution of, of humans, uh, it might be more beneficial to consider the, the ecological settings in which they're operating and creating uh, as unique to, to their uh, evolving needs uh, rather than purely human needs. Uh, and we might want to think about how we actually lack any real direct power to alter that at this point um, due to the fact that we've built in our own generative entrenchment, meaning um, as much as we were the originators of a lot of these machines, uh, we became dependent on them to the point where a lot of human activity that we all depend on uh, to get through the day and survive uh, actually would, would be very hard to get along uh, to, to accomplish without the machines that we've created. That's obviously easily a case to be made in, in things like medicine and healthcare, um, but also equally you know, obvious should be the ideas of transportation networks, uh, financial networks, etc. Uh, and without Without those things, um, it would be very hard to be what we consider a human at this point. Um, so it's not going to be so easy to directly shape these things um, as we might presume simply because we made them. Uh, I think we found in, in enough of our messing around with nature and trying to figure out the human body that things are, there are generally a lot more things connected in dependent paths uh, than we think. We ought to proceed with caution when we attempt to change things. And I think that rather than considering ideas of actual control, we ought to think more about how do you ecologically shape uh, complex things rather than predict and control them. So uh, I do find all this very strange because I just went on an eight minute monologue about this and uh, I'm not sure it matters some grand sense or is it ultimately a useful thing, but uh, I often find it useful to my own humility when I think that I'm going to be able to actually control things, so, uh, yay machines, uh, go generative entrenchment.